Up next on the OWN Network, it's the Steve McGuire Show with your host, Steve McGuire. Hello, everyone. Hello. Well, uh, I actually lost my password earlier today, but I can actually just go to the NSA and Obama and ask for it back, so. <laughs> Actually, there's been a, lately a surge of illegal immigrants in the area, or as Obama likes to call them, his undocumented Democrats. <laughs> well, uh, actually, surprisingly in the news, Romney has claimed to have been visited by Osama bin Laden's ghost, who said, don't worry, Romney, I was killed by Obama's foreign policy too. <laughs> All right, well, we've got a great show for you guys tonight. We got Bill Clinton coming in, and all the way from Los Angeles, Patrick Warburg. He's gonna be doing some impressions for you guys. It's gonna be great. So stick around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, former President Bill Clinton. for having me here, Steve. It's a real honor to be here. I can't assure you. Well, uh, I heard you quit the saxophone. Well, Steve, that's very true. You see, I want more time to play with some of that, that harmonica now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one, Bill. But, uh, actually, many people were criticizing you after you left office, saying you're almost like a, like a wild dog. Now, now, Steve, that, that's very harsh criticism. Now, let me say this to you, to all my fellow Americans out there who are watching this. You see, a dog would only go around chasing his own tail. He wouldn't chase tails of White House interns now, would he? <laughs> now, that's very true. That's very true, Bill. That's fabulous. Uh, but what have you been doing since you've been out of the White House? Tell, I've, I've been eating a lot. Now, uh, see, I've gotten so famous in my local McDonald's, whenever I, I walk in the door and they just hand me an intern and a Big Mac and I just enjoy myself. <laughs> that, that's, that's very nice, Bill. Uh, well, tell me this. Do you have any uh, advice for the current president on the situation in the Middle East right now? Look, the answer to that question is very simple. See, what we need to do, you know, the only reason the Arabs are hating on us is because they don't have the delicacies that we have here in the United States of America. Right, right. You know, they don't have McDonald's, they don't have Burger King, they don't have Wendy's, and they don't have one of the greatest gifts that God ever created for Americans, Chick-fil-A. See, now, what I'm proposing is simple. I say we lend some Chick-fil-A to the Arabs for a couple months, and if they like it, what we'll do, out of the goodness of our hearts, of course, because, you see, my party, my political party, we like, we like to help people. So, what we're going to do, we're going to build a Chick-fil-A in Afghanistan, just like we built all those schools over there. So we're going to build a Chick-fil-A, and then, problem solved, the Arabs will love us again. See, it's just like what Jimmy Carter did back in the 1970s to appease the Arabs. He had extra nuts, like really big nuts. He had really big nuts left over. So he shared his big nuts with the Arabs, and they loved him for about 10 years. And then George H.W. Bush came along and killed him. See, and that's it. Chick-fil-A is the answer to everything, Steve. Problem solved. We're done. I'm winning a Nobel Peace Prize now. Oh, 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 o
always a joy to be on TV. Alright. Good Good Alright, so uh, next on our network we've got Patrick Warburton coming in. Again from Los Angeles. So stick around. Alright, uh, welcome back everyone. Uh, we've got a fantastic show going on for you guys today. Um, all the way from Los Angeles, we've got a fantastic voiceman and actor. You probably knew him from uh, Hipper's new group. His name's uh, Patrick Warburton. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, nice to have you here, Warburton. You know what, Steve, it's great to be here. I really like what you've done with the place. It looks fantastic. Uh, Don't you agree? Yeah, uh, sure. So, uh, I hear you do impressions? Oh, you know what, Steve, I do a lot of impressions. I've been, uh, I've been practicing for about the past couple hours now. I think I've gotten pretty good at this. You want to hear something? Sure. Okay, first up, I'll do the De Niro for you. Alright, are you ready? Hold on to your pants, people, because this is going to be great. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Yes, I believe you are. Yeah, we're talking. That was some good stuff, Steve. That, that was... Wow. Uh, got anything else? You know what, actually, yes. You see, a lot of you people probably watched uh, Scooby-Doo as little kids. So, just to make things interesting for you, I'm going to do Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Once again, people, hold on to your pants because this will probably be the greatest impression you've ever heard in your life. Like Scooby. Zoinks. We are in dire need of food. We should probably get some Scooby snacks over here because I'd like to catch this ghost. Now, Scooby. Yeah, I can also do Scooby Doo for you. Ready? Just go ahead. Scooby. Dooby. Do. Yeah. Pretty good, right, Steve? Thank you, people. I'll be here all week. Uh, just great. Just completely fantastic. I, I don't even know what to say. Um, so, can you do Obama? Actually, yes I can. I, I was working on uh, Obama for about an hour before I came on the show. Yeah, here we go. You ready to see the byproduct of an hour's hard work? Because I am a dedicated actor. Boys. Are you ready? Because this will literally knock your panties off people. All right people are you ready for this? Once again I must remind you this will literally knock your panties off. <clears throat> uh, no look uh, my fellow Americans uh, this crisis uh, in Syria uh, can obviously be averted uh, by doing uh, one simple thing. Uh, first we must place all the blame on one man uh, I'm one party. That man is George W. Bush, and that party uh, is the Republican Party. Uh, now look, uh, I also have to say one thing to my fellow Americans out there uh, who are watching the speech. Uh, I have the Spurs for game eight. Uh, I hope they defeat the Heat. Uh, I win. Uh, I force game nine. Uh, and win the final. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, my fellow Americans. Wow, that, that was actually really good. It was, wasn't it? Hope you all liked it out there. Alright, well, uh, do you have anything else for us today? You know, Steve, I actually did. Most of you guys out there don't know this, but in my high school days, I was a, somewhat of a Elvis impersonator. I do a pretty good Elvis. You want to see? Anything up? 
Oh. Mama. Let's rock to the jail aisles for rock again. I'm a hunk of burning love. Yeah. That was pressing. Oh, yeah. I love Elvis. Pretty good. Am I right, Steve? Or am I right? Patrick, that was horrible. You know what, Steve? You're horrible. I hate this. I took time out of my busy schedule to come on this show, and all you do is criticize me. I put three hours of hard work into this. It's terrible. I have to say this to any of my fellow actors who ever come on this disgrace of a show. Don't do it. It's a waste of time. I'm out. Patrick L. Um, okay. Well, uh, we've got a great show for you guys next time. We've got Nick Cage and uh, Captain Russia coming on. So, uh, see you guys next time. This is Steve McGuire, signing off. And that's the Steve McGuire Show. Coming up next, Dr. Oz.